Hello friends and neighbors all over the world and especially my neighbors in Coleman County, Alabama. My name is Dio Harbison. My cell phone number is 256-479-8813. Today is August the 12th, 2010. I want to talk to you about an all-important subject. Probably more important than anything uh, that I can think of. May not be important to you, may not be important to you neighbor, it may not even be important to your preacher, but I want to discuss with you what Yahuwah has said about his name. Now you say, Yahuwah, who's Yahuwah? I read in my Bible, his name is the Lord. Well, his name is not the Lord. The Lord was not there. See, Satan thought to change his name. Uh, you can read it in Revelation 13, 1, which is the chapter about the mark of the beast. By the way, the mark of the beast involves the name of Satan. Uh, you can read that from Revelation 13, 1 on through, but in verses 1 and verses 6, it talks about how the beast has names of blasphemy upon his head, and how the beast is thought to blaspheme Elohim's name. Now, Elohim is a plural term that refers to the Father and the Son as well as the Spirit. So, you might say the Godhead. Now, I don't use these terms normally, Lord and God and things like that, that blaspheme the name of the Father and His Son because we're told not to in Exodus or Shemoth twenty three thirteen, not to even let their names pass from the lips. But we can clearly see from examples in Scripture that we have to say these names when we're teaching people that don't know. And it, I'm teaching you these things so that your blood, your preacher's blood, your children's blood, everybody's blood in the world that I can reach with this magnificent tool that we have to to reach people, YouTube, you who's not going to hold me accountable, read Ezekiel 33. Because if I don't tell you, your blood is on my head. So I thought today, I've been studying this for a long time, since about 1976 when I had my first son, the scriptures. And I'm just an old country boy, I don't know much, but I do know what Yahuwah said. And he says that we should speak his words and we should call upon him. Exodus 3.15 says that uh, if you read the original Hebrew, and, and your preacher going to say, well, we know we don't we don't speak Hebrew anymore. Well, you do when you say Satan. You do when you say Molech. You do when you say a lot of the names of the false deities. When you say Baal, or we say Baal in the south, but it's actually pronounced Baal. We're actually saying uh, perfect Hebrew. So, why can we not actually say his real name that was originally writ written in his word? He says, my name is Yahuwah, and that is my memorial to all generations forever, Exodus 3.15. So every time you see the word L-O-R-D, that's not what was there. Uh, what was there was yod Hey wah Hey in the original. That is Yahuwah. It's a three-syllable pronunciation archaeologists have discovered. I can put you on to many, many examples uh, and references and documents that prove that his name is Yahuwah. And how the name is pronounced is very important because that's the name you call on for salvation. So let me read this email to you. I changed the name of the preacher. Uh, hopefully he'll contact me, but maybe he, he won't. But if he doesn't, we're going to turn it up a notch. But I want you to challenge your preacher. I want to challenge you to, to look upon these things and see what is true. If you want to be written in the book of life, read Malachi 3, 16 through 18, uh, which talks about those who think upon his name. They will be written in his book. Uh, it is the book of life. My Thompson Chain reference. Bible actually has a reference out to the side, book of life. The book of life is actually mentioned first, I believe, in Exodus chapter 32. So, uh, Yahuwah has been writing this book since the beginning of time. His name's always been Yahuwah, always will be Yahuwah. And those who will be saved in the last days, 144,000, will have his name written upon the forehead, as Revelation 14, 1 says. All this ties together. But I want to read this quick. I only got 10 minutes and I'm just about out of time. So I'm changing the name of the preacher and I'm just going to read this to you. Hello, Mr. Sharman. Please don't be offended at my question. Why won't you call Yahuwah by his revealed name that has been replaced with the names of Satan and these names blaspheme Yahuwah's name? Now, how do we know that Lord is Satan's name? Well, if you look at Matthew chapter 12, Satan is identified as Beelzebub. That was originally a Hebrew word, Beelzebub, and it means Lord of the Dung. 
Now, every time you say Lord, you're actually saying uh, the name of Satan, according to the Messiah, or that which identifies Satan, Lord of the Dawn. Every Baal that you read about in the scriptures is named that because they're called after their master, their Lord, their deity, if you will be. You don't know that you've been calling on Satan all these years when you use the word Lord, but you, but you have been. You've been deceived. Read Jeremiah chapter 23. I don't have time to go into that, but you've got my name. You've got my cell phone number, 256-479-8813. My email is yahoodum at live.com, Y-A-H-U-D-I-M. Give me an email. Uh, so let me finish this letter, and I'll get off here. Uh, I know that you may have been offended, but don't be angry, please. Look at Revelation 13, 1 and verse 6. And Jeremiah, or Jeremiah is what we say, chapter 23 and Exodus 3, 15. Then answer the question at Proverbs 30, verse 4, which actually says, What is his name and what is his son's name, if you can tell? Do you know his name? Can you tell me what it is? Are you written in the book of life that you read about in Malachi 3, 16 through 18? And Daniel 12 and Exodus 32 and in Revelations from if you read from 13 chapter 13 on you'll see, you'll see the little book and the books that are opened at the end of time is your name written there do you call upon Yahuwah or do you call upon Satan by using the word Lord according to the Messiah Matthew 12 24 through 37 and Strong's Greek the Strong's is also Concord's Greek number 954 which is literally translated in our language as Lord of the Dawn are you concerned at all about making people forget the name of Yahuwah, as Jeremiah or Jeremiah chapter 23 points out. Jeremiah 23, 27. Let me scroll down to Jeremiah 23, 27 here on the Esword. All right. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Now you think about what he said in verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith Yahuwah. Woe be unto the pastors. Your pastor has deceived you. He may be deceived innocently. He may not really know. I hope, I hope they change. But I want to know why you call upon Satan's name instead of using Yahuwah's name. So read Jeremiah 23. Read these references I brought up to you. Are you concerned at all about people? Uh, forgetting the name of Yahuwah. You should be. Uh, you see, Baal is the same as Lord, which has been used to replace Yahuwah's name in his word. What do you say, dear neighbor? Yahudim at live.com. You can get me here. Uh, send me a message on uh, YouTube. You've got my cell phone number. Get in touch with me. Let me know what you think. Pose this to your neighbor. Teach this to your children. Go to your preacher. Ask your Sunday school teacher. There's a lot more to be discussed, and I'm uh, looking forward, very much forward, to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.